what is going on everyone on the interweb today I'm Ranger Man 7 also known as Pink Elephant and today I have a special commentary Domination. and the only reason it's special is because you know it's something different and I think it'll be fun as hell to do so today in English class my teacher decided to kill my childhood and by kill my childhood I meant scar me for life so basically in English today we analyzed Red Riding Hood and keep in mind, I'm a junior in high school. So I'm only 17, barely 17. I turned 17 in a month. Wish me happy birthday, asshole. Anyways, so then I, I'm, I I'm like a junior, and we analyzed Little Red Riding Hood. Now, if you're weak and love your childhood, then I suggest you click away right now because I'm about to turn this upside down for you. But. If you want to really hear this, then stick around. By the way, class is M27, silence, fast mag, I go 60 and 7, enjoy. Anyways, so then, the Little Red Riding Hood is about a little girl who has a red velvet cape. I mean, I always say cape, I've done this already and I didn't like it because that whole structure is all over the place. But she has a little red velvet hood. Now, she goes to her, she's supposed to deliver wine and cake to her grandma's house. She's told by her mom not to deviate from the path from the town to her grandma's house and if she does then like she'll fall and break the stuff the wine I believe and then she does that she goes on the path she meets a wolf she tells the wolf where she's going how her grandma's sick this and that and the wolf distracts her and tells her to go pick some nice flowers you know and she's like oh okay while she's picking flowers, the wolf goes to the grandma's house, eats the grandma, puts on the grandma's clothes, and then Little Red Riding Hood comes along, knocks on the door, and says, Oh my god, we're big ears, big eyes, big eyes, whatever. Big everything she, the wolf has compared to his grandma. And then the wolf ends up eating her too. And then a huntsman walks by, hears the wolf snoring because the wolf is now full and is kind of resting. And he hears her snor he, he hears snoring and he goes checks it out ends up cutting open the wolf Lightning making little red riding hood and her grandma fall out I guess you know what says. and then making everything like better again by and ultimately killing the wolf by filling him with stones now the little kid moral of the story don't 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 uh, disobey your mother your mother's always right once you do that you're probably gonna you're gonna get eaten by a wolf not even eaten by a wolf but something bad will happen and my English teacher's reading of this is, hey, let's let's analyze things in five ways. First, we're going to start off with the color red, and we're probably going to mix everything together. Now, the color red, what does that represent in a sexual way? Because when he, we re he reads, it's all sexual. Dude, there's not one thing he does not read sexual. And that's pro partly because we analyze stuff with the Sigmund, Sigmund Freud method. And that has like everything to do with sex. Everything you think of has to do with sex. Apparently, I don't know why. So the color red on her cape represents that she's on her menstrual cycle, and she's her virginity. It's her virginity, and her staying in town means that she's like sheltered, civilized. Town has rules. That's why her mom gives her rules, and in a sense, like she's she's like still a kid now the path is her way of maturity because from the town to the grandma's house it's like maturing along the way and the wild or the, the forest that is around the path is considered to be the wild side of her like the wild side of sex and everything and beyond that it's like I don't know uh, if you have any questions just leave them in the comments because this is going to get really confusing now, now that we know what the color red signifies, which is uh, menstrual cycle and I believe virginity, yeah, that's what I said. Now let's analyze the mom and daughter. Now, Sigmund Freud always has this little triangle, and for girls, I think it's an electrocomplex triangle or something. I'm not too sure about the name, but it has the girl on the bottom left, the dad on the bottom right, and the mom at the top of the triangle. So basically, what does this mean? This means that the mom and dad are together and they created you. You look down and as a girl you notice that you don't have something that guys don't have. And I'm trying to keep this clean. But then you notice that you don't have that little hanging thing. <laughs> and and then you're like, hey, I want one. But then you can't have one. So then soon after you stop loving your mom because she doesn't have one either. 
and then you start loving your dad because you ha he has one and you desire one so then to get rid of that desire you want to have a baby and you want to have it with your dad this is all weird and i hate this but it's so funny to think about it and then after that you you learn that your mom has your dad's love and your dad's not gonna do it with you it's kind of weird and then suddenly you like redirect your want for a baby with some other dude that's basically it now the dad's not mentioned in the story the mom's only mentioned once the fact that the that little red riding hood tells the wolf that her grandma's sick and ill and weak and where she lives like she lives with three bushes in front of her house like he's she's basically giving away the position because she knows the wolf is a killer and the wolf is ultimately gonna go kill her mom it, in a sense that's her mom and by doing that, she can have a dad for herself. It's kind of like <laughs> weird as hell, but that's what she does. And then the, by the wolf telling her to go off into the wild, I think I already said this, she's exploring her wildness and the wild side of sex and how it's all like weird and it's supposed to be scary and stuff. But then when the wolf goes and eats the grandma, he kind of absorbs part of the grandma because when you eat something, you absorb its nutrients and you become, it becomes part of you. And then, so then ultimately he becomes color of the grandma. And the fact that the wolf kind of dresses in grandma's clothes is meant to be like, hey, he's trying to explore his feminine side, so he's dressing in the girl's clothes. Then when Little Red Riding Hood comes along and then kind of like says, oh my god, grandma, this and that, this and that, the wolf eats her too. And then by him eating her too, he absorbs her too. And the inside of his stomach is ultimately like the scary side of sex like it's dark and as she enters the house it's meant to be like oh my god it's dark it's scary this and that and so it's supposed to be like oh my god sex is scary this and that but then my gameplay kind of froze on my screen so like, I don't know how long I have but then she's like I got I lost track and then yeah yeah they're both inside the wolf's the stomach and then by the hunter hearing the, the wolf snore and comes inside and cuts her open, he the wolf ultimately has a c-section because the hunter notices little red riding hood's hood which is meant to save virginity and then like by that coming out like usually when a girl is virginity blood like there's like a little drop of blood I, I think or something like that and then by that she, she lost her virginity, she lost her, all her innocence, she's now like, had symbolic sex or rape, if you want to, we didn't read it as rape, we read it as like symbolic, this and that, but the hunter's technically a surgeon, they have birth or rebirth as my teacher, my teacher didn't say as rebirth, but people were saying oh it could be rebirth, but I don't think it, it, it might be in a sense, but then, it's like weird, and then, <laughs> It's funny, but like it, I'm kind of killing everyone shouted, and then by the by the hunter then pulling the wolf with stones and then ultimately killing him, he sets the standard that no, you can't do this. I'm setting the rules here in the wild, the nature. I'm I set the rules here because that's what a hunter does. He goes, he kills the animals that that kind of like are ruleless and like kind of like in a sense like that and then I keep saying in a sense because I can't really use the word and it, this isn't all like all legit stuff like that it's just like kind of there and you have to figure it out on your own sort of but then by him killing him, her the wolf keep staring on my words I can't talk today he like sets the rules he makes this standard and he stops things from being too out of control now that's basically it <laughs> it's it's about it's not a story about oh listen to your mom if you want it could be I don't know we didn't really like that there's also biblical reading but I, I'm not too big on the Bible so let's not go there and then there is this reading I choose this reading because it's more fun and <laughs> enjoyable it's like that. so basically it's a story about a girl who loses her virginity is on a period because that's why she's wearing red and then loses her in innocence and then when she comes out of the wolf's stomach from the symbolic c-section she's like oh i'm gonna mature the right way by staying on the path and not venturing out because if she stays on the path then she can be what her grandma is which is a person who's controlled her wild side because the grandma's house is in the forest and the forest is technically the wild side of sex and by the grandma being able to have a home which represents stability and control the grandma controls everything around there. Now, I find 
when he told me that, I found it kind of ironic because the grandma kind of got ate by the wild side of nature. But I don't know. It's it's all weird. <laughs> Next story I'm probably gonna do is actually I don't know. We'll see what we do in class, and then I'll do it here. My teacher probably will do YouTube videos, and I will probably start linking those. But I don't know when he's doing that, and I'll probably. I can link it, but I don't know until he does that, then I'm the only source right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely when he starts doing it, go check him out because it's hilarious the way he reads it, and I really want to know. And honestly, my child has, has been killed. He also killed Twilight and Harry Potter, which would probably be the next episode. So <laughs> if you want to hear about Twilight and Harry Potter's being killed, definitely stay tuned. I'm talking in a black screen, and I feel bad. But I don't know how long this video is because it kind of Sony Vegas just broke. So guys, I'm Ranger Man 7. Hope I didn't kill your childhoods too much because we still have a lot of lot of lot of stories to tell. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed and don't forget to actually don't even subscribe cuz dude, I'm probably going to kill your child. You don't want to hear it. So I heard you like Cinderella, Twilight, and other books. Wait till I get to those. Goodbye.